Welcome back to the video series, A Campaign from A to Z. This episode is going to be all about A-B testing. First of all, let's have a recap on that user journey. Let's have a look what we have done so far in the previous videos. We have set up a landing page that triggers goals in order to gain engagement value. We have set up behavioral profiling to find out what the actual interest of our visitor is. We have created a campaign link in order to use Sycor's analytics features. We have configured a form which identifies a contact, sends a brochure via email and triggers an outcome called requested brochure. Then we have set up a marketing automation campaign which populates lists based on the behavioral profiles that we have set up previously and sends a follow-up email if a user matches a specific pattern. In this episode, we're going to have a look at A-B testing. We are going to set up an A-B test on our landing page. So let's have a look at this in the Psycho Experience platform. I'm going to fire up Content Editor. Have a look at my landing page. Remember, we have created a mountain retreat landing page, which has a text and a link to the main site containing other offers. We are going to create a variant of this text containing an auto brochure call to action. I've already prepared this data source. We have this text right here with some minor text modification, plus this call to action link right here. So let's set up this variation on in Experience Editor. I can do this right on the component. Create a variation. And click my alternate data source. Here we go. That's all. We can have a preview. And see, we have a direct call to action link right here as opposed to a link back to the main site. So as we save in Experience Editor, it is going to prompt us to create a test. We can do so. We can see a little preview image right here of what parts of the page are being tested. I can make a bet of my expected changes. I can say I expect the value is going to increase for the alternate variant. Let's have a look at variables. We can say we have one experience that is personalized. I can also add multiple to a test. And let's leave these values at default. My objective is going to be trailing value by visit. I could also select a goal right here and just measure conversions. But as we are measuring the actual engagement value of each visitor, by, for instance, browsing through offers, clicking on the contact form, clicking on email links, etc., etc., we are going to use the value as test objective. And I'm going to manually select a, a winner. Delete the duration by default and start the test. Now, let's have a look how this looks on our landing page. And there we have it. 50-50 chance that we get our variant. Try again. There we go. We have a different variant. Now, we have to gather data for some time. So I'm going to show a A-B test on the other landing page that has been running for a couple of days. You can also open Experience Editor. Click Optimization Test Results. And we can see the original experience has 9.56 trailing value. And the alternate experience has a lower trailing value per visit. This is different than I've actually expected. I would have expected more conversions equals more engagement, but that is obviously not true. It's a very interesting fact that this test is actually showing me now. I can say, Top goals converted after the original variant. I can see the top pages that have been viewed for each variant. And I have some statistics on bounce rate, average duration, etc. 
all this information you can use in order to make a decision which variant is going to be the winner of this test. So in addition to measuring engagement value, you can also measure the conversion rate. You can have a look at our goal called brochure requested. This gets fired by the form that we have set up. This goal is called brochure requested. And now I can see the original experience has a lower conversion rate than my CTA experience. And this is actually what I have expected, that I have more brochure requests because the button is more prominent. So we, we can see we have more conversions for brochures, but in the end, the original variant brings us much more engagement. So we can say we are going to rate trailing engagement higher than the actual conversion on brochures. Then we can say, let's pick the original as winner. We can also say our main goal is request brochures. So let's choose this variant with the call to action and pick this one as winner. I'm going to do this. So this concludes the first part of our demo, which is a A-B test on a landing page. Next up, we are going to have a look at setting up a A-B test inside an email campaign. Remember in the last episode, we have populated lists based on behavioral profiles. And what we're going to do now is send a manual email campaign to one of these lists and create an A-B test right inside this email campaign. Let's set this up in Experience Platform. As said previously, we have contact lists that are being automatically populated based on our user's profile, based on what they click and what they seem to be interested in. We have a number of re recipients here uh, in this interested in water side. So we are going to send them a manual email campaign and see if we can get some engagement out of that. Let's go back to Email Experience Manager, create a regular email campaign, and let's call this. Okay. We are going to select our recipients and we can say, I'm going to take this interested in water side list and I'm going to exclude our global opt out. And let's just edit the details of this message right here. save that. So this is our first variant. And let's create another one. There we go. So we have two different variants with different wording. And let's go ahead to delivery. So now that we have an A-B test inside our email, we can determine the size of the test. So this means how many of our recipients get either variant one or variant two before we have to pick a winner. I'm going to click manual and let's say we do 20% of our list that receives the test. I'm going to send the message right now and start. Yes. So now this message is being dispatched. So after some time has passed, we can have a look at delivery. And we can see the test has now paused because 20% of my uh, list has received an email and we can choose a winner. I can now see click rate is about the same, but the value generated by this variant B is much higher. So it's clear for me, I'm going to choose this as a winner. And now automatically the rest of this list is going to receive this winning variant. So to recap this video, 
we have set up an A-B test on a landing page and we have sent an email campaign containing two variants and tested which variant performs best.